people with disabilities are overrepresented among uh, racial minority communities, uh, the LGBTQIA plus community as well. Uh, people who are low income, people with disabilities are uh, underemployed and unemployed at an astonishing rate. There are about 40 million eligible voters with disabilities in the United States. That's one sixth of the total electorate of the United States. 40 million, we know, is a huge group. That is enough to determine the outcome of any election we've ever had in the United States. But the turnout of voters with disabilities actually lags behind our non-disabled peers at a rate of about 6%, and that's fairly consistent across election cycles. I realize 6% doesn't sound like a huge number for me to be so concerned about that I'm here to talk to you today. I didn't say 50%. I didn't say 75%, 6%, but when we're talking about tens of millions of voters, a 6% gap in turnout could represent anywhere from about three to five million lost votes in any given election. And that that is a truly significant number, especially when we think about the, the intersection of people with disabilities with other traditionally marginalized voters as well.